Good afternoon from ULAR 2022. I'm Dr. Eric Dyan, checking in from New Jersey in the US. I'm here virtually, uh, but tuning into Copenhagen and seeing all the, the latest information from this excellent conference thus far. Um, we had a wonderful plenary session um, on the first day, and I wanted to talk about oral presentation 0067, uh, which was looking at incident depression as a risk factor for mortality in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. They define incident depression as someone receiving, uh, their, filling their first antidepressant over the study time period. Um, and when they looked at these patients that had this new diagnosis or new treatment of, of depression, they found that there was more than a six times increased risk of death in patients over uh, under 55 years. Um, this difference, it was a long-term study of, of 10 years, but this difference was especially noted very early on uh, that there was increased mortality in these patients with rheumatoid arthritis that had uh, a diagnosis of depression. Um, there was a lot of conversation after the plenary as to, uh, first of all, the definition of depression. Um, the definition shouldn't really be just based on, on medications and uh, potential confounding and bias with this. Um, there's definitely a risk of bias with medications like um, duloxetine that can be initiated for chronic pain or neuropathic pain from possible auto, autoimmune RA disease activity. Uh, but that said, the, the takeaway is a, a very hard endpoint of mortality that we care um, a lot about in our patients. Uh, these are patients that, uh, again, it was most seen in the patients under 55 years old. Um, and so it's something that um, shows to be one of our biggest risk factors uh, for a poor outcome is depression. So uh, as we look at all of the risk factors that we consider in, in treating diseases like heart disease, liver disease, smoking, we need to have depression and mental health up there with everything else and uh, making sure we're treating not just the rheumatoid arthritis, um, but also their depression, uh, as well as incorporating it into our screening tools and our conversations from the first visit, um, because this is something that that seems to have a major impact in our patient population. Uh, lots more information to come on Room Now um, from the rest of this conference at ULAR 2022.